Well, first of all, I'd like to say a good evening to everyone, and thank you, uh, Anna Now, I say Anna Mingo because that's the way I learned to say her name. <laughs> um, but good evening, Anna and to her family and relatives and friends and educators and uh, Bayer and so forth. Um, as we all know, this is a dinner to celebrate Anna intellectual accomplishment. And to announce again, I'm going to have to say, she was the Scripps National Spelling Bee Champion. First, I'd like to thank Anamika's family. During the time, during the time that I have had the opportunity to know Anamika, I have also had the privilege to get to know her family. From the onstart, when I had Anamika in fourth grade, I learned that her parents valued her education. Anamika's education has been one of the most important objectives her parents developed for her. They are aware that through a sound, well-rounded, and intellectual stimulating education in a nurturing environment, along with a strong support from home, Anamika's future will be secure. In today's world, not enough parents value education as Anamika's parents do. Thank you, Mr. Garamani and Mrs. Garamani, for establishing a loving, a loving environment, passing on a value for education, and being outstanding role models for your daughter, Anamika. Anamika is a teacher's dream. <laughs> she wants to learn. She questions intellectually. She glows when she learns something new or a piece of information that is confirmed or information that comes together in her mind. And she thirsts for more learning. <coughs> Anamika takes pride in doing her work well. This sounds like a report card and turns it in on time. <laughs> she is not afraid to question and to pursue a question. She has learned that through questioning, a deeper understanding comes. And she has learned that she is not perfect. And she has learned how to grow from her mistakes and failures. She is very respectful and wears a radiant smile. Through this academic accomplishment, Anamika, you have made the sisters and faculty of the Carnival Bird Academy extremely proud. Indirectly, you have thanked the sisters and faculty for all that we have given you during our time with you and your time with us. Nothing can make our hearts swell up with more pride than to see a student excel, excel in an academic field with such great success, as well as turn out to be a fine, beautiful person, which you have achieved. Anamika is an extremely well-rounded individual. She studies and plays violin. And last year, when Channel 5 came out to do an interview, of course, I'm bragging about her. And she plays the violin. Well, what do they do? They say, oh, is your violin here? Of course, honestly, she says, yes. Would you play it for us? <laughs> they put her right on the spot. Um, she takes Indian cultural dancing, loves to play golf. And this was something I did not know until just recently has a passion for reading and learning new words, is a superb writer and really enjoys it, excels in math, has won many awards at the science fair exhibits, speaks more than one language, has won numerous spelling and vocabulary competition, and most recently, the most coveted title of being the Scripps National Spelling Bee Champion. Winning the Scripps National Spelling Bee is an extremely intellectual accomplishment. I want to emphasize that it is a national award. She has spent untold hours preparing for this National Spelling Bee. Although Anamika has received help from her number one teacher, her mom, and others, Anamika still had to persevere 
dedicate time and cultivate a strong desire to learn what she had to absorb to accomplish this feat. Anamika set a goal to win this competition and developed her objectives to bring about her goal. Anamika, I congratulate you once again on achieving that goal. This accomplishment, accomplishment has not been the ability to learn to spell just American English words, which are difficult enough in themselves, but to spell words that come from other languages that have been adop adapted into the American English culture. Anamika has had to learn the various rules for American English as well as numerous other languages, both current and ancient. Many clues to spelling patterns and which word it is um, comes through the study of etymology of a word. In what language did the word originate? To what other language did it travel into and change? What does the word mean? Deciphering how a word is used in a sentence um, are clues that she needed in order to be able to decide what the word was and to spell it. The questions that Anamika asked during the National Spelling Bee all helped her to use the knowledge she had gained preparing for this competition and gave her the time to formulate the word in her mind and spell it correctly. She had no room for error. Once an order of words were said, she could not change them. Standing by oneself in front of an audience that's filled with not only people but photographers, cameramen, and millions of people watching it on national TV was not an easy task. Did you realize that Anamika was one out of over 11 million students from around the world who competed at their own local level to go on to compete? national level. These over 11 million students were narrowed down to 273. Of the 273 best spellers, Anamika earned the coveted title of being the number one spelling champion at the national level. And at this time I would like to thank all the scripts sponsors who value this intellectual competition for our young students, especially in this very tight economy that we have right now. They said to the world that they placed a value on our young people and on their minds and supported this type of competition. On MSM and in the Plain Dealer, something like this was stated. The Cleveland Browns could not do it. <laughs> the Cleveland Indians could not do it. The Cleveland Cavaliers could not do it. But Anamika could bring home a national championship. So in closing, Anamika, thank you for your dedication, the time, the effort you showed us all that is important to achieve this goal. Thank you for being an intellectual national champion and bringing it home to the greater Cleveland, Ohio area. You put us on the map. Thank you.